missed him. Oh, he's in between the tires. He's, no, he's going that way. He's going that way. He's in the tires now. That's definitely him. I told you there was a snake in there. Alive. <laughs> <laughs> boom. Got ourselves a snake tonight. Go ahead and chop him right there. Using my custom heart hatter shears. But this is how to pan a snake. <laughs> one on one. Get this, just figure out where you want to. Well. Kind of depends on where you chopped him. Depends on where you chopped him. Get a nice cut. Ooh, fresh meat. Bury the head. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. It's gonna keep moving, dude. Make sure you wear your tattoo gloves. Oh man, that feels weird. I don't want to. Oh my god. It's gonna wrap around your hand. <laughs> I think it's long enough for a hat. Okay, we're gonna take this away from the front. Let's get it over here. Wrap it around a hat real quick. It's gonna be perfect. Okay, so back to... Uh. This is where we found it. So then you wanna find the middle of it. Gotta keep a straight line. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh. oh. All right. All right. Try to keep a straight line, but this guy is still moving. He's really pulsing. Well, no, he's not. It's just the muscles are uh, twitching, kind of. Oh. There you go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. You think its head can. Oh. Tell that you're touching uh, it. I, I buried it. I buried just it. Just stop twitching them. <sighs> it's not going to do anything to you. <laughs> <sighs> it's like trying to come to me. Oh, man. Okay, so you just keep going all the way. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, you got his guts. Into it. Into it. Into it. Okay. Oh my god! <sighs> it has a rat tail, dude. <gasps> I thought it was a rat. Yesterday, we're cleaning out the RV. Nate's new RV, the man behind the camera. He says, man, there was a huge rat in there. I saw the biggest rat tail ever. Or it was a snake. And little did we know, it was really a snake. Copperhead, that is. We were pretty sure it was a so snake. I'm glad that... Oh, I'm glad that we found him tonight. We got rid of that. We're about to make a really cool hat band. If it doesn't get away. So, you get to about right there. And then... If you got some really sharp scissors, you can cut through it, but if you don't have sharp scissors... What's going on right there? What's that juice? Oh, something just squirted out at me. I don't know what that was, bro. Is that poison? It can't be. What the heck is that green thing? I don't like that, bro. You hit it. I don't like that, bro. It's urine. You think? So something squirted all out, dude. What's that? It's not venom. Something that little dirt won't cure. Mm. Yeah, the tail might be the best part.
Then here we go. So then the gutting process starts. There's a membrane up here that smells absolutely awful. That smells freaky awful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that snake? What? Is that snake that smells like that? Oh. I gotta get... It's the guts. Bro. Uh, I can't, can't breathe. You can't quit. <laughs> You're almost done. Oh, I can't breathe. Oh, it smells so bad. Then we gotta now put our hand on here and just kind of get it off. You see that? Boom. Okay. No, bring it over here for the camera. Oh, oh it smells so bad. Oh, it smells so bad. Okay, so we're gonna just. Uh, does uh, it really? Yeah, it does, bro. Uh, smell we, it. Uh, Here, smell it. I can't smell anything. Dude, then smell. Yeah, you can. Smell oh, it. Oh, yeah, smell it. It's musky. Oh, it's bad. Yeah. Uh, Oh, that, Man, was that, was a, that was a strike. Oh. That was a strike. That was a quick strike, bro. Man, pin it. Pull it. Make sure that. Oh, I did hit it there. On accident. Oh, yeah, you did. It's kind of weak right did there. Did I damage it? Skin looks intact. Okay, so after this, so you just make sure that nothing is ripping. Keep it all nice and even, slowly. Stay close to it. Don't let it come get you. And then once you get it all the way off. Maybe you don't chop the tail off right away. Uh, yeah. Next time, yeah, we would have just, we should, we should have gone all the way through. Yep, you're right. Oops. And then I think you just, um. Throw it on the barbecue pit. No. We gotta gut it, so come on. Let's take it to the water hose. No, bro, we gotta gut it over here. So then we kind of like gutting another animal. I guess we just kind of. I don't really know. I haven't really ever gutted an animal. Pretty sure its guts fell out, but there's gotta be some innards in there. It can't be all right. Oh yeah, that's all it. Start at the top though. Oh, there we go. So yeah, we start at the top. It's kind of also stuck on the membrane maybe, or whatever this thing is. The back spinal cord-ish area. Yeah. That looks like meat. I don't know, man. Okay. Anyways, there we go. There we go. Oh, there we go. There's some. Yeah, there we go. We just filleted it already. That one fillet. So we kind of just pull it all out, and it just comes out pretty quick. And you know what they say: snakes are only meat and bones. <laughs> not lying look at that just pure meat pure meat you see it look at it closely now pure meat no oh. I don't know about that part yeah rip that fillet off there yeah, we'll get that off but look at that mm. pretty Don't much be. perfect we're gonna cook this up feed it to Sherpa no wasted bones. No wasted anything. We don't waste. We don't waste. We are grateful for this snake, though we did not want it on the property. It was a gift, and now we have dinner tonight. Bada bing, bada boom. Here in a second, you're going to see a roasted snake. Oh, wait. We got to go clean it. Come on.
I'm gonna clean you in a second. It's ready to put on a hat. I'm ready to get put on a hat. I guess a little olive oil. I'm gonna pull that out. And, uh... <sighs> Man, where does the poison come from? This head. is his head gland, the jaw gland. It's like the back of the head. Okay. Okay, now we just. Creatures. I'm gonna clean the meat. Clean it real well. You need to hold that water hose? Yeah, it's perfect. Feels like a fish. I would say. It's no longer jumping and tugging. You massaged it out. I massaged it out. It's nice and relaxed. Oh, no, it's not. It's still jumping a little bit. Looks like calamari. Yeah, calamari. Mm. When you get to the bottom, it gets a little more difficult, so. Yeah, you need your tools. Well, oh. we don't waste any meat, so we're going to leave that right there for now. Giblet. And then uh, Sherpa will love that here in a bit. Oh, it's, it's not liking it cold up there in the front. Think we're good? Here, let me hold it and give it one good rinse. Okay. Here you go, bro. Get all the mud off of it. We're gonna give it a nice rinse off. Really, really kind of get it all out of there. All the yeah, hit the inside of it. The grass. Yeah. The insides. Really rub it out. <laughs> get it nice and. Oh. I guess you're right, we gotta get some of that out. Yep. Let's take out all that stuff. Maybe clean it out. Oh! Ah, oh. oh. oh, dang it. Man. Oh. Re clean it. <laughs> <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. It does not like getting hit down here, bro. Look at that. I'm wrestling it. Maybe keep a firm grip on it. Yeah. It'll wrap up. It'll wrap it up your head. Don't get me. I don't know. Some people like putting grass on their snake. Adds a little flavor. You know? I, I've tried it with grass before. I prefer without. Yeah. Oh, some dirt right there. That tail's getting it now. My gloves are not helping me too much. I'm soaked. <laughs> What's that? I think that's where I hit it. What do you think, mate? How does that look? That cracked the spine. I mean, that's meat that we're pulling off now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just anything that doesn't look like meat. Slap that in my face right there. Ugh. Right in the middle of my forehead. I feel it. I feel it. I need some water. The middle part is good. Yeah. Okay, we're good. Time cut. Right there. 
Oh. Yeah. The fire's already going. Got the new fire pit. Farm to table. Fresh, never frozen. Fresh, never frozen. Don't waste any meat. Well, we'll turn that off. Get my back. Set you up. Fresh meat. Okay. We got ourselves a new a new tattoo glove. Just still I'm kinda iffy about touching the snake, you know. It's still moving. Uh, it's still moving. If I was in the wilderness, it wouldn't really matter. Oh hey sheriff sure, boy. We got a half moon tonight. We got ourselves a skillet. stuff works should we just put it in the fire no 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 we're eating this thing okay <laughs> so i knew we were eating it but guess look after it's all perfect perfectly gutted see fresh meat meat in bones only perfect filet and then just use you a little bit of oil. I don't know if this is healthy for you. Is avocado oil healthy for you? Probably not terrible. It's better than canola. canola. Better than canola. No corn. There's no corn oil in this, but I, I don't know. I know that there's some. Anyways, check your oils, but we're just going to flavor this thing up a little bit. Yeah, Shout out to Chosen Foods. So, so you can really see. I don't want to touch it. Try to get the insides good. Rub some seasoning on the insides. What kind of seasoning are you using? Uh, this is uh, this is uh, what's it called? I don't know. My um, let's give him a shout out. Well, I just ran out of my favorite stuff. Oh, okay, well then we'll we'll wait to the next episode. Yeah, my. Actually, my, my sister's husband runs the best barbecue spot in all of Philly. And his seasonings are absolutely to die for. I heard he was thinking about maybe making some Man. jerky with his brand called Sasquatch. Mm -hmm. Sasquatch jerky. Coming soon. But anyway, so season it up. It's looking really good. Oh, hit it up. Season it up. Looking real nice. And then literally just kind of flatten it a little bit so it feels good and it starts to really, really tenderize up. It might still jump. The meat might be jumping. You know what I'm saying? Jumping at the gym. But it'll stop eventually. Oh, oh. <laughs> grab you some, a uh, little bit of salt. Hit it, you know, and just, just like that. A little bit of pa-pow. A little bit of bada-bing, bada-boom. Try to flip it up. Get it in the grease a little bit. Always where you knit. Kind of grilling that up. Oh, that's nice. Oh, come on. Stay down. It said he kind of tries to jump through the gym a little bit. It's all right. You kind of just dip it in the, the oil. Really let it simmer. Move it around. And even let the tail hang over the smoke. Oh, uh, see it. And that's what, like, gives it a great smoky taste. Just like that. 
Mm. You like smoke a little bit? Oh. Man. It's gonna be real nice here in a bit. Oh. Look. This is kind of the special technique. I call it the pretzel. When I was growing up, I loved the pretzels, you know? So, when I do cook snakes, if you do it the right way, it'll pretzel up just like this. I mean, literally, pretzel up. That's how, that's how I was taught to do it. It's called the pretzel snake, but... Yeah, it, it turns out real good. You see how it's starting to look like the pretzel, you know? The pretzel rolled snake. Mm. Like I said, it's a special touch. It's a family recipe? Uh, it's just a technique. Oh, okay. It's not necessarily a recipe. So that's bacon fat you're cooking in. It's right here, bacon fat. Not just any bacon fat. If you do have the luxury of an egg, you can also crack an egg on it. And it's real good that way. Once it really rolls like this, then you can open it up, swing it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> kind of let it do that. It's called the train. Down a little bit. Really, really charcoal. That's nice. Kind of like that. You can wrap it on a. Uh, if you really want it, you can drip some of its oil on the fire and flame it. That's for people who like it a little bit more well done. Keep it boiling in the juice. Like I said, if you if you know how to really do it, it turns out like a the pretzel, you know. Like I said, it is a secret. But if you were watching at specific times, I flipped it, and you'll you'll see. But it, it just takes practice. It does take practice. It's gonna be delicious. Mm. Get it wrapped in edges a little bit. Remember those of you trying to make the pretzel, really just watch how the technique is going right now. called the question mark too it's like huh you see <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm, just let it serenade in the juices everybody prefers their snake a little different but if you're out in the wilderness you know it's harder to find different berries and grass to uh, give it some real flavor but definitely if you can oh man that looks pretty good smells like a fair oh, a little bit of ash dip it's all right Gives it flavor. Good. 
Oh, this is looking tender. It's feeling good. It smells delicious. One thing you do have to remember is you got to eat it quick because it will jump off the plate. It is jumping. It's still jumping. I'm still not having to hold, hold it down. Just a little bit. Hold it down. Stay down. Okay. Man, what a blessing. Mm. Remember, don't try not to waste any meat. Wow, I was starving tonight. Mm -hmm. Something to serve that way. Uh, I guess you can pull it off. And... I think she's done. She is done, but maybe let it fry up a little more time. <laughs> what are you worried about? I'm not worried about anything. Except for a perfect pretzel. Okay. The perfect pretzel. And that, my friend, whoa. Oh, the perfect pretzel, copperhead snake. Mm, whoa. Hydrogen water, extra hydrogen, extra everything. Oh, still warm, Whew. real warm. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna let this cool down for a quick second, but as you can see, the perfect, once again, the perfect pretzel. <sighs> Chilling right here, right now, in a all original 1979. All original 1979 Airstream, original everything, except for four cabinets that I added that, well actually they just make the whole thing much better. If you see right here, it's just, oh man, perfect. Back to the copperhead snake though. I Oh man, <laughs> I've eaten quite a bit of snakes before in my life. But, ow, that's hot. <clears throat> so this one's going to be really good. They say copperhead snakes are super good. Well, if cooked right, they're really good. So it's bones in there. Lots of bones. Mmm. Absolutely delicious. <laughs> Tastes like. Some bones? of the best chicken that you've ever eaten in your life. Super seasoned, just, just straight off and you just suck it off the bones. You can kind of pick it out, anything out of your teeth, you know, if you are in the wilderness. And you kind of put the bones right there, you can chew them up later. And then you can kind of get to the real meat and... So, one out of ten, what do you give a copperhead? It's a, out of all the snakes I've eaten, it's a it's a pretty juicy snake, so about a nine. Mmm. Mm. The perfect pretzel. Big meat. Yeah. Spinal the spinal column gives you some real good meat. You can kind of like pick the riblets off like this if you really get it good. You get like yeah. perfect rack of ribs and it's the, oh, and the ends are like just the perfect. You bet. You lying? Mm-hmm. Not much snake left. Okay, so literally 
I said it was a nine earlier. <clears throat> but it was, I should have filmed how you eat a snake. Because actually, there's a proper way to eating a snake and pulling the meat apart. <sighs> taking the ribs apart. Then you're taking, I gotta show you it, but you can, you can literally string the whole thing. And it's literally like you're eating, eating the best, best piece of meat you've, you've never had till you've tried it. But I, uh, mm. I ended up wanting to keep a little bit of meat on here, a little bit of ribs in there. Just, I'm going to use it for, um, cooking some things next. It's going to add some flavor, but this right here was, I mean, a 9.7. It was great. So, next I put on it. One of those sauces was very spicy. <sighs> Here we had dragonfly pie cake. Dragonfly cake. Oh, wow. Homemade on a glass plate. Yeah. After a little snake and Sergio's. Snake and homemade cake. Homemade cake. Turf and Whoa. turf. I don't know if the spices just made me like this. Or if the snake is now going and getting put in my system. Or venom hit whenever you hit the taco. You got to get this icing in my mouth and rub it on my lip. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, let's see y'all in the next episode. While I sit here in my 19, 1979 Airstream. Mmm.